this lesson we want to try and find the critical angle of a substance something like diamond which has a refractive index of 2.5 okay so how we're going to go about this here is our diamond it's not diamond shaped but it's just there to give us something to work with it's going to be a very fast video because I'm short of time our critical angle is here and that means any uh, any greater angle and it'll totally internally reflect inside so it reflects refracts along the surface we've got 90 degrees here we're assuming this is an air so it's 1.0 refractive index our 2.5 is this one in here so we're going to use Snell's law uh, we use n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2 and we've just got to substitute in uh, our values. So N1 is going to be 2.5 um, that's our refractive index of diamond or whatever that happens to be sine theta C is our critical angle is theta 1 and that equals the refractive index of air is 1.0 times by the sine of 90 degrees. Now this is the tricky bit because in questions they don't often tell you that this angle of refraction is 90 degrees but you're expected to know that so it's often for a merit or an excellence question if you're sitting in CA in New Zealand so interestingly enough the right hand side here uh, sine of 90 degrees is 1 and 1 times 1 is 1 um, so we're going to reduce the right hand side of the equation now to 1.0 that means our critical angle is found from this and I just heard the bell my lunchtime is just about over so I'm going to rip through this really fast we take the inverse of both sides I can hear my students knocking but they've got another five minutes um, so let's do this on the calculator and we get 23 uh, point five eight degrees um, okay now the higher the refractive index for the material the more refraction you get and that generally means the more total internal reflection you get and that generally means you get a nicer array of colors being uh, seen uh, that's why diamond is so uh, precious because it's rare to find material that's that optically dense how would we round this we've got two significant figures for both of our refractive indexes so this would round to 24 degrees to 2SF and that's uh, how to find the critical angle